Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. It's now time for Frontline Business. Sajikor Bank says while its interest rates may not be the lowest in the market, its offerings are competitive. Chief Executive Officer of Sajikor Bank, Corville Johnson, addressed the issue at a media briefing on Monday. We don't compete on rates, we compete on benefits. Right? So you can't just look at the interest rates that somebody's getting. You have to look at the benefits and you have to... We, we have started the, the, the process where we are risk assessing clients. So for one client, it might be a higher interest rate. For another one, it would be lower. Right? So, but you're not going to see any ads out there from Sajikor Bank that will be talking strictly about interest rates or that we're lowering our interest rates. We leave that to the competitors to do that. What we focus on is what, how we can um, add benefits and value for our clients. On Monday, the government signed two financing agreements with the European Union, EU, valued at $2.8 billion. The money will be used to support the public finance management reform program, as well as address environmental and climate change challenges through improved forest management in Jamaica. The agreements were signed by Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, and Commissioner in Charge of International Cooperation and Development in the European Commission, Nevin Mimica. Mr. Mimica noted that the Public Finance Management Reform Program is assisting the government in building the structures of a modern integrated financial management system, which will further improve public governance, transparency, accountability, and delivery of public service. In Tuesday's trading session, the JSE Combined Index advanced by 2,161 points to close at over 400,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 54 stocks, of which 26 advanced, 20 declined and 8 traded firm. The Junior Market Index declined by 11 points to close at 2,966. Stocks advanced for Barita Investments, Caribbean Cement, Caribbean Cream, Derriman Trading, and Fosrich Company. Stocks declined for MG Packaging and Paper, Caribbean Producers, Carreras Limited, Elite Diagnostic, and Everything Fresh. Trading firm were 138 Student Living, Epley Limited, Jamaican Teas, JMMB Group, and Kingston Properties. In these Farmer Jamaica Ordinary Shares was the volume leader with over 1 million units, followed by Mayberry Jamaican Equities Limited with more than 276,000 units and Fontana Limited with over 200,000 units. Oil prices were steady on Tuesday as fighting in Libya and falling Venezuelan and Iranian exports raised concerns over tightening global supply. But uncertainty surrounding an OPEC-led production cut limited gains. Brent crude futures rose 21 cents to $71.39 a barrel. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures rose 28 cents to $63.68 a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. Regional stories are up next. <laughs>